today I wanted to do a comparison of two wallet on chains. Um, these are two, both wallet on chain bags, but obviously very different from each other. Um, this one is the YSL large size wallet on chain. Um, and this one is the Tory Burch Kira wallet on chain. So you can see that the purpose of these are, are they're both light bags, easy to use, but um, you'll see that the inside is, although kind of similar, very different. And to your surprise, if you guys can guess which one holds more, um, I was actually really shocked when I realized that this bag actually holds half the size of what this holds. Um, and I'll kind of just show you some of the different things I carry in each of these. Um, I And then the wear and tear. So to be honest, this one, I actually haven't really used that much just because I haven't really gone out. Um, but with this one, this is like my Aaron bag. I use this because it's so easy and it's nice and plushy. I use this to do all my errands and um, it's just really light and easy going and kind of, it's a black and gold. So it's kind of, um, a little dressy but not really pretty casual so I like it so let me start with Tory Burch and first off I want to start off with to my surprise this has been one of my favorite bags um, for the last month or so just because like I said it's a carefree bag um, I don't have to baby it I don't have to worry about it um, it's something that it's so lightweight so when I wear it I really feel like I'm not wearing anything and it matches with just t-shirt and jeans or workout clothes. It's really um, just like a grab and go. Now, um, I will start off by doing the wear and tear. Because I have used this bag now for about a month, I can kind of give you my pros and cons on the bag. I love this bag because it's just such a cute small bag. Um, and I've been really loving the mini bag stuff the wallet on chains things like that and this one i just feel like it's so easy going i bought the ysl first um because i just fell in love with the look of it it's just such a like classic pretty um piece right here but then i saw this one and i bought this one at nordstrom because it's i saw it in person and i was like oh wow like this feels so nice almost reminds me of like a toy lulu feel but um i like it because it's a wallet on chain and it's easy now I would say the negative, the con for this um, is the fact that the main thing is because the leather is, I, I think this is actually like a lambskin, it's really soft and nice, but the wear and tear, although it's easy going, you still need to be a little careful. And I would say, I don't necessarily want to say I baby the bags, but I'm pretty careful. I try to take care of bags regardless of um, what bag they are. I try to be really gentle with everything, but you can see here, do you see that right there? This right here is just inevitable because as you wear this as a crossbody and it rubs against your jeans or your shorts, whatever it is you're wearing, it's going to do this. So the more you wear it, this is gonna get worse. Um, and this part sits on the outside, so this one will always be, have the most wear and tear. Whereas like this side, it's a little bit, but not really a lot um, but you can see the brass part of this is still super shiny and like I said I use this bag all the time I don't see anything wrong with it the chain still looking really really good and then even this part too there's just like no wear and tear in it um, so, I mean, you're gonna just know if you're gonna purchase this bag that you're gonna get the corner wears and there's nothing really um, you can do about it unless you don't wear it, but that's defeats the purpose. Um, and here is what the bag looks like inside. I still have some stuff, but I try to take most of it out. Has one compartment, two compartment is a zip area, and then three compartment, and then a back compartment here. So you can just see um, those three items. Now, originally I watched a lot of reviews on this. There's not a lot, a lot of reviews on this bag on YouTube, but the few that were on here I did look at and I thought it fit more just by watching it. But let me tell you, this really does, when I say bare minimum, it really does hold only the bare minimum. And like I said, I've been on this mini bag um, crave right now. I love the craze of just the mini bags, the way it looks. I love the fact that I don't have to hurt my shoulders anymore because I don't need to carry 
a gazillion things. I just need a couple things. And most of the stuff I need is on this table right here. Um, so again, let's see what fits inside here and I'll test out different things. So right here is where I usually keep my wallet and I usually just use a card holder. This is my Senrev card holder. I'm sure you guys have seen. I really like this because it's um, super thin and it's perfect for a small bag. Fits right in there. And then what I like to do is I like to carry this pouch and this has my keys in it. I just put that back there. So those fit perfectly. Um, and then what I like to keep in the middle pocket is um, I have like some cases in here. So here I have a pouch right here. And you know, you guys, if you guys watch my videos, know that I love keeping pouches and bags because if I want to take off my rings, I can't, and when I sanitize my hands, I put in that pouch so I don't lose it. Um, and then I also keep like extra Ziploc bags and stuff or masks and um, things like that. But this is a little case where I put like vitamins and just, you know, other things in here. I usually just zip that right in the middle. That fits fine. And then the back here, you have one, two, three, four, actually no, there's six card slots and you can double cards in each of these. And these cards I keep are like my gift cards, like my Nordstrom cards, just cards that I don't use on a daily basis. It's more just my extra cards I keep in there. Um, and then I have just a compact because if I put a powder compact, they're usually too thick. And um, again, because I'm not going out that much, oops, sorry about that. I only need just a mirror, um, just in case like, you know, I need to do, look at my um, face or, you know, just, it's always good to have a mirror, but again, not a compact because it will not fit. It's such a slim bag. You really need to find items in here that is slim or else it's not going to fit at all. Um, and then, you know, obviously, I always carry chapstick that fits. You can put in a lip gloss in here if you like. Um, I don't have one here for example, but you can, you probably fit in like three more lip glosses in that back area if you really wanted to. Um, and obviously we all know that we need sanitizer. Um, doesn't matter which bag we carry, we always need that. I love the Bath and Body ones because like I said, this is the perfect size sanitizer for any um, small bag. So just pop that in the back like that and then you have this other back compartment right here and um, again I just keep like receipts and stuff in there and then also like if I have alcohol wipes I'll leave it in there and then I, I like to carry extra Ziploc bags because if you're eating or something you want to put your mask somewhere you don't want to mix you know the dirty mask with all your other stuff I like to put in the Ziploc in the back there so this is really what would fit and it fits comfortably I also like to keep my protector on things until it naturally falls off because why not keep it protected as long as you can. So let's go ahead and close this. And again, like, so sometimes it's a little annoying to find the exact match of this um, buckle and twist. So you do have to like kind of like shift it around a little bit, but all in all, it's not too puffy. And then the side is like this. So the side looks good. And then you have this really cute back pocket. This, um, I really like this back pocket, although it's really useless, but it just reminds me of, um, you know, like I just love back pockets. Like the Cassie 19 has one and Chanel bags has them and all of most of their classic flaps. Um, where else Lulu, no Lulu does not have, why is that Lulu's do not have pockets, but I think their college bag has a pocket too. So pockets are like a big plus. I wish every single bag had a pocket because I put my phone in there. This one, however, is very slim. So you can keep like a business card in here or like receipts or something, but definitely um, you cannot fit a phone in here. Like my phone right now, but this is, I need to see that this is like my, um, actually I really like this case. I have a eight plus and look at the, iridescent to this. I don't, I'm not using it right now, but you can see that to the pocket, it's just not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit at all, so that's one thing. But know that this is what fits in this bag, okay? Now I'm excited too, because for the first time, I, I think maybe like the second time, I'm gonna use this bag. Um, I am traveling for work next week, so heading down to Vegas, and I'm like, you know what, I don't wanna carry a lot, but I still need something that's 
you know, since I'm going out, I still want to carry a bag that's um, a little bit on the nicer side. So this is the bag I'm going to be using to travel with. And I figure when I bring, um, you know, my other bag where I'm going to carry my computer and stuff like that, I can easily just put this in its original dust bag and throw it into the um, my work bag. So that's going to be great. And then so I can use the work bag during the day when I'm in meetings and whatnot. And then I can use this um, during the evening. So love this bag. Okay, so here is this. It's a similar setup, but you can see that Look how much it stretches. There's just more room, right? Yes and no. So this one is more, it's flexible, but kind of more, actually, I don't know if they're, they're probably about the same, but this one has accordion is um, wider. So you, I feel like you can definitely fit a lot more in here versus the other one. So let's try that out right now. So if I wanted to fit, okay, so here is um, my other wallet I use a lot. This is my Prada card wallet so if I wanted to fit this in here I could um let's see here and then I want to carry if I want to carry a sanitizer like this this is the honest one it will fit but it's not really gonna close right so it cannot like see that it's not gonna close up so you definitely don't want to carry a sanitizer this size the, those are more for bigger bags, um, but let me take the chain out too, so there's more room in here. So this is the chain on this. I think I did a review on this a while back, but um, the chain is like really substantial. So I love, the, I love the chain on this because it's heavy and it's pretty and it's nice, but it is a more on the dressy side. The gold is not like a soft, it's not a soft like a white gold, it's like a it's like a gold gold, right? So it doesn't, it's not gonna match with every outfit. Just, just know that. So there's that. Um, if I wanted to carry, so this is the catch all bag I usually use. And I use this one in my Prada re-edition, but this is like a cosmetic case I've had for like years ago, right? But inside here I have, just go through this really fast. Again, a mirror because I don't carry compacts anymore. It take up way too much room. As you can see, I have a thing with, I love accessories from Sanrio. They're just so cute. And I feel like I can never be too old to like it. I don't, I'm not the type of person that would wear a Hello Kitty purse necessarily. Uh, I just think it just doesn't fit my style. But in the purse, in a cosmetic bag, it's so cute. It's like you open your bag and you see a little glimpse of, you know, happiness. And that's how I, that's how I view these little trinkets. I really like it. And I love my Chanel, um, chance perfume because this is my travel perfume. I carry with me. You just do this. You see that? And then it sprays. Oh, it smells so good. So this is great because if you want to smell good during the day, you just take this out. Um, and then Advil never know when you get a headache. And then I carry my little lotion right here. Um, and I like this one because it's small. I, I'm actually not a huge fan of lotions that smell really strong because I just think it smells too much, right? I don't mind a good perfume, but lotion wise, the only scents I like in lotions are more on the fruity end. Um, things that are like strawberry scented or, um, you know, like the orange, mandarin, like those kind of scents, I really like. Trader Joe's had, had one for the summer and it was strawberry. It smelled like Jolly Ranchers. I love that. But this is a little too strong, but I like it because see how small it is? It fits into all my bags. And then um, this is, again, just a little pouch I've had for a long time, but it has this little zipper here, it's really nice. So I think if you were to put everything back here, like, I don't think that perfume will fit, but let's just put those things back in right now. I actually don't, oh, I guess it would. Yeah, so it would fit. Yeah, it would fit, but like, if you want to put this in there, the, like, this is way too chunky, it's definitely not gonna fit. So you're gonna have to carry like a, um, I would say like a little travel perfume instead. But if you were to put that in, um, here, let me just, and then this is the other little case I put my ring in. Um, this is like, this is Kalo. This is, you know, you guys know the um, the rubber 
rings, silicone rings that people wear when they work out. So my husband and I have a set and I used to wear them when I would go to the gym, but obviously now I don't go to the gym because everything happening. So I just work out at home, but I like to carry this and I put my wedding ring in here when I'm sanitizing my hands. Um, but same thing with this, right? This has a middle compartment here so you can fit your cards or whatever and it would um, just fit right back so, here. Realistically, I'm not gonna use this because this, like I said, I use this more in my Prada Re-Edition bag. Um, I would carry something like, oops, like this instead, right? This is an um, HRH pouch you get when you purchase um, jewelry from her. I'd probably put this one back here. And then here I just keep hand sanitizers um, because it's easy to use. And then I also have a little, one of these little things. Um, this is just a little trinket, but I love this thing because, you know, when you're checking out and you're paying with a credit card, you put this on your keys, so you just use this little rubber thing and doot, 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 and then touchless. So this is kind of like my clean bag that I put my random things in. So this would sit right back here. Okay, I wouldn't use this Prada wallet. It's too, it's just a little too bulky. I mentioned my another video of mine um, that I don't use this wallet. I love it so much because look how cute and just pretty, but do you see the wear and tear on this? I only use this bag, uh, this wallet for probably a month or so. And I didn't realize that the paint, the screen printing on here comes off. So I, you know, like before, I wish I cared more, but I used to just dump everything into like my Speedy or into my Neverfull and then everything would just shift around in there. I didn't have like a designated area for my wallet. So my keys and stuff is scratched all up. Cause of that reason, I don't use this wallet anymore, but I just, I can't get rid of it because it's so cute. And look at the inside. It's like this magenta color that just like makes you happy every time you open it. Um, and I don't, I think I took it in LV to see if they can fix this, but I think, it, I mean like, you're not gonna be able to because it's something that they do limited edition of. Um, and it's a screen print. So unfortunately I will not ever be using this wallet, but just for um, demonstration sake. You see that it does fit, but it's gonna be like a, you know, like, so yeah, so actually this fits fine. So if you want, if you have a zippy wallet or something along this size, you can definitely put this in here, it'll be fine. Like I said, I don't need to carry that big of a wallet. That wallet fits so much. I also have this Send Rev um, card case um, zippy wallet as well. It's really messy in here. I think I just have receipts and stuff, but, um, this one is a little bit slimmer, so you can see that on the side. It's slimmer, so I think if I were to carry a bigger wallet, I would put that one in there because it fits a lot better. But right now, I just don't carry that much. So again, gonna go to my trusty card case. So what I'm looking for right now is I'm going to purchase either, uh, I want the Louis Vuitton um, coin card holder, the men's wallet, the slim one that everyone has. Um, it's just so great because it's gonna fit into all my small bags and I can fit receipts, coins, cards. Um, I wanted the other one, was it, was it, what is it called? The I, f I can't remember the name of it. I wanted the new one that just came out, but it's like $560 and I just can't justify for a small wallet paying that much. Whereas the other one, I think it gives you the same purpose and it's half the price. So I'm looking for that, but I'm waiting for a better color. Right now, all they have is, I think, just their standard, um, Demir bean color and I think it's like the gray. I don't know what's the exact name of it, but don't really love that one. I want like a fun color. So maybe holiday to release them. I'm hoping they will so I can purchase it. But yeah, I would definitely keep my card case in here. I would keep my key pouch in here. My chopstick will go in the middle. I always need my vitamins just in case. Sanitizer, I will stick that back here. Okay, so this is the thing. You will not be able to fit your phone in here if you have all of this stuff in here. And to be honest, the sanitizer probably needs to go in here because it feels like, okay. So here's what I have in here and it already feels really tight. I don't think I can actually zip this. 
Oh no, I cannot. Nope, I cannot. I mean, I I guess I could, but okay, never mind. I can, but it's gonna be a tight squeeze. Do you see that on the side? I mean, I guess if I have to, I will. I usually don't like to put fill my bags to the max. Um, so you know what? I was totally wrong and I'm glad I made this video. I thought this bag would fit a lot more because of the stretch when I did my um, comparison. But now that I just sat here and did everything with you guys, everything here you see here fits into the Tory Burch and then a little bit more room because I can get my cell phone in there too. But then here it's, I don't think you can for some reason. I think it's just the type of leather. This is stiffer. The other one is lambskin. I think it's a little bit more squishier, gives you a little bit more room. Um, so again, you can't keep your phone in here. If you do, you're gonna have to take out these two things, stick your phone over here, just put your cards and the card slots back here. There's there's quite a few card slots. There's, I think like one, two, three, four, five, there's 10 plus this back to keep cash. So I would just keep cash there. I'll keep my cards there. This is the newer version. It doesn't have the 10 slots here, which I was actually really disappointed because if you're gonna pay a certain amount of money, you just want as much detail as you can. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. So I would just recommend doing it this way. Keep the phone there, keep the card there, cash there, or keep the phone somewhere else in your pocket or something. Keep uh, these two items here and then you're good. And then this closes up like so. Again, it's gonna be a little bulky, um, but you can see that there is at least some sort of, you know. So I guess net net is, they're, they both fit about the same, but I think the Tory Burch, Burch bag can hold just a little bit, little bit more, but all in all, they hold about the same. So if you're looking to carry more than what I just shared here, this bag is not for you, it's not gonna fit. But if you want something minimal, I would definitely um, check out you know, these two options. But I think if I were to choose two uh, out of these two, which one I like more, um, obviously like I love the YSL look of the bag, it's just a lot, so it's just a nice bag, right? It's, it's, it will elevate any outfit, really casual person, so I, I like both. But I'm not gonna lie, I actually like this Tory Burch bag more just because of the ease, the lightweight, the um, how squishy it is. I like the fact that it's so tiny, but it still fits like your essentials. Whereas this one's a little bit bigger and heavier, but still fits less than this one. So, and I mean price point, right? This one I believe retails for 1550 USD, I believe. Um, but you know, YSL does do a lot of sales on like Farfetch and things like that. You can always like find a way to get these a little bit less, but Tory Burch, um, this one I think retails on the website and on Nordstrom around 328, 350. So you can see there's a significant um, price difference. Obviously one is designer, right? So I guess it's not comparing apples to apples necessarily, but I definitely just wanted to come on here because I felt like the purpose of these bags were the same, although different. So net net, if you're looking at these, depending on what you want, check out the Kara bag. It's really a good option, minus that corner wear. I love it. So thank you again for sticking through this long video with me. Um, I appreciate everything and I appreciate you guys watching. Please like this video, give this a thumbs up, comment below which one you guys like better. If you're thinking about getting this, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, and that is it, till the next one. Thank you, bye.